Hi there, let's go through uh, challenging questions involving assumption. There are 100 bowls of noodles for 100 people. Each adult eats 3 bowls of noodles and every 3 children share 1 bowl of noodles. Wow, this is very sad. Huh? How come an adult can eat 3 bowls but every children only share 1 bowl of noodles? I think for those uh, children who are listening to this video, you must be feeling very upset about, over this question. Right, because in my class, I have some boys who actually say that they can eat three bowls in one day. However, right, in this question, every three children can only share one bowl, while the adult can eat three bowls. Okay, but nonetheless, the question asks, how many children are there? Alright, so instead of using guess and check for this question, right, the faster way is to use assumption. Since the question asks for the total children, so let's assume the opposite. Let's assume all adults. Can you recall what is the short form for assumption? It's a TDO, right? Which is a total, excess, difference, and opposite. All right, if you can't recall the four steps, I've already included a guide in the video below. All right, do refer to the guide where I include a very comprehensive explanation of what these four terms mean and how do we actually how do we understand how the assumption method works. Alright, so let's assume that you already know what the four terms mean. So to find the total number of bowls for noodles, you will need to take 100 times 3 because every adult eats 3 bowls. So 100 times 3 will give you 300 bowls. And now to find the excess, remember right, there's only 100 bowls of noodles, right? So to find the excess, you take 300 minus 100, you get 200. All right, and now here's a tricky one, okay? How do we find a difference between every adult and every child? Right, we know that every adult eats three bowls, but the problem is every every three children they share one bowl. Right, so we have a problem, right? We can't take every adult minus every child. Right, so what should we do instead? We have to make the three children into one bowl, and you find three adults. All right, so three adults will be three times three, because every adult eats three bowls, you get nine bowls. Do you get what I mean? All right, so this is testing of your grouping concept. You have to group the three children into one group and the three adults into one group. All right, so now you can find a difference in one group, which is the difference between three adults and three children. All right, you get nine minus one, which is eight. And the opposite will be 200 divided by eight. You get 25. And this 25 is not the number of children. Right, this 25 is the number of groups of children. Do you understand? Alright, so once again, please be careful, right? This 25 is not the number of children, it stands for a number of groups of children. And every group consists of three children. Alright, so to find the total children, you take 25 times 3, and the answer is 75. And once again, how do we double check your answers? Very simple. You use your answers to work backwards and see whether you can get the same value as the question. So if there are 75 children, means there are 25 adults because a 100 minus 75 give you 25. So let's find the number of bowls or noodles for the children. All right, you, did, you take 75 divided by three because uh, every three children share one bowl. So you get 25 bowls. And the number of bowls on order for the adults is 25 times 3, you get 75. And we'll add up the total number of bowls, you should get back 100 bowls on orders, which is exactly what is stated in the question.